all right what up youtube it's tonight staying here back with another video and this is gonna be like a quick little i guess just a little rant video not rant just me just talking for real uh about leading where nobody leading where nobody has gone to yet i think that this is me speaking about my own experience really it's very hard to go somewhere that nobody could like walk before you in a way of course on the internet you know everybody like i said everybody has what they they plan this is what they plan on doing with their life and just the path they're supposed to walk down and some people you know they plan change and some people just you know some people just be going out on a limb just living their life and then you know they stumble into what they're supposed to be doing with their life and you know or just trying to make their life better period and we got to be like on no spiritual thing or just on a higher purpose type of thing it's just some people just end up finding a way to really make things work for them and happen for themselves uh so in many ways i'm at that i'm at that stage let's say the hero journey i don't know the hero journey all the way i need to read the book i got the book but i need to read it i really read it uh well i'm at the very beginning of that the hero journey stage where you know like it's the call to action like i'm called to I'm, I feel the call to really go do something extraordinary with my life. But let's say, for example, in my own circumstances, I lack a lot of, I'm slowly gaining courage to really step out on my own and make, take chances and really, you know, be able to really bust my behind and really make my mistakes not. And a lot of that is, and it's very hard for me to deal with that, not deal with it in the sense of like, like I said, I, I get angry, not angry, but like, you know, some people can't take losses, so they like just go all the way down in the dumps. I'm understanding that losses is the part of the journey, and I'm learning to more embrace them easier. But most people, like I said, they take a loss and they are like just crumble and they just keep stopping and keep, you know, keep giving up in a way. In my life, I wasn't really, I wasn't gift. I had the energy, but I wasn't gift gifted like the courage aspect of just taking on life like you know with pride and just courage and just with you know with excitement so in many ways when me growing i always felt reluctant in the sense of or reluctant or even i would just feel like i just didn't unmotivated to you know take my life to the to the to the highest i could take it to in many ways growing up i always felt that i could be mediocre and get by and that, but one of my spiritual teachers, she was like, "Yeah, I'm exactly the same way." And we connected on that point. That we very, we were always mediocre people. We could always do a lot more with our life, but we always would settle for the medium just because maybe you know, self limited beliefs like, "Oh yeah, we're not worthy, or we're not enough, or you know, we don't deserve, uh, let's say, the best out of ourselves." And yeah, uh, for the longest time, I could never really get that out of my mind that I was really. I really got a lot of I got a I got my got I got the good vision for life. I got a good expectation. I want the best out of my life. I want to do a lot of things in my life. But at the same time I have this super strong, you know, adversary in terms of like myself where I'm always like, oh, well, I can just do this and get by and I can be okay, but it's like it's never me reaching my full potential. And a lot of that is is intertwined with fear with moving forward with not having any let's say mentors not mentors but you know predecessors somebody that come before you that like lay the groundwork down for you to move forward because i didn't have any you know parent not have any parents that really like okay this is how you do this this is how you do this so in many ways the fear or just you know my tendency to be uh, mediocre is so i can stay within the lines and not you know try to be myself in a way and not to really you know make mistakes and trying to follow a path i feel like i'm supposed to be following but of course i'm not i'm I, in a way i'm very half stepping it's not really a good thing to do i don't think anybody should be half stepping period especially if you doing something that you want to do with your life you should always learn to do it fully even if you fail is that you learn it's something that you can take from it is that you learn something from it and in many ways me being half stepping a lot i i, I literally took myself i not took myself i, I literally like stole opportunities from myself to experience life and mistakes that would have taught me valuable lessons and i think that i know i'm not the only person that does this because it seems like it's a family thing how people just like i said you find a way to pull your own self back and it's very 
it's very it's, it's a lot it, it it deals with self-sabotage and i've been dealing with that for years and i'm still dealing with it a very little bit but i'm still i'm almost pulling a lot of it out but it's it's very sad to you know deal with that but you have to eventually get over it you know like i said when you get over it you got to start developing some type of courage and some, and some type of fearlessness with you like i'm becoming very fearless now because uh <laughs> you don't see that you know the climate of the world now it's like i don't i don't want to be like everybody else in the sense of like the lack of freedom and of course there's ignorance and bliss but it's like i wasn't given that ignorance i wasn't given that ignorance when i was a child because when i was a child i just seen everything for how it was and of course i had my own ways of trying to deal with things but i always seen it as very like the world is very disappointing this disappointing and i just wouldn't want to be i wouldn't want to fall victim to the world disappointing nature so i want to separate myself from it and do my best to do not do my best but, you know do enough so i can get by and just be self-sustainable so i wouldn't have to worry about anybody but now i'm getting to the point where i don't want to be i don't want to just get by i want to really thrive and really take my life to the next level and, and then help whoever I can as well and I think that's that's stepping to my purpose but that's really what it is it's like I don't I just don't want to just be mediocre I don't want to just be less than what I know I can be and if I did try to do that now it's like it's like a a very strong like like my my conscience and my and my conscience is very strong in the sense like I don't like doing that's why I don't tend to like do negative things even though let's say of course like I said the evils, of, the evils of this world don't really believe in karma. Like I said, a lot of people don't believe in karma, and it really don't matter. But it's like I don't, I don't want to feel bad. I don't like the feeling of doing something bad, knowing I could have done better or I could have done good, just because I didn't feel like it, you know. And of course, this is this is only even though I'm only this is only locked into just me pursuing with my own like my own heart desire. It's just like why would I neglect myself of such you know achieve and enjoy because of how I feel, you know. So, yeah. So I'm at that stage of life where I'm developing some type of courage, and, and of course that's intertwined with like my feeling of just being a man or being masculine. It just it's intertwined in there, and it's helping me develop as well in that area. Just being a man. Of course, I'm only 20, so it's only so much you can learn as being a man at 20. Other than just the basic of just handling your business, I think that's a lot of handling your business and getting your emotional problems under wraps. And, Keep them under control because you know just the state of the world is like i said i if i'm be honest masculinity now is very uh from what i see is very pitiful i don't like seeing it i don't like seeing men killing women over petty stuff i don't like seeing men being petty like i was who said that andre taylor said like being petty is such like a, a it's such a a, a a itty bitty thing it's like it's so small that and i don't like that pettiness i just don't like it I, that's why i, I before I ever be petty, I will walk away. I will leave somebody alone. It's like, it's never that deep. I don't think it's never that deep, but yeah. Just, I'm just trying to develop some type of courage, you know, some fearlessness with me, you know? And of course, I mean, it's gonna take time, but that's what, that's my goal. And that's what, that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, if y'all like the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Thank you.